begin, so today is kind of an unboxing and review. It's going to be a very bad unboxing video because I don't have the right sort of zoomy in camera for this and the angle is going to be awkward but that's just because I'm lazy and stuff. But today I'm going to be unboxing my body cut and body chan. Now, I am positive these are fake ones because I got them extremely cheap. I know the real authentic ones go for about like 70 quid to 100 quid and I was like <laughs> I don't need that much help with anatomy that I'm gonna spend that much on a figurine but I found some reasonably sort of priced ones on Amazon these are about 40 quid for both of them which I thought was quite reasonable now what I can tell is that while these boxes are official boxes you can tell that they have well, the seals have been broken, these have been opened, and I'm positive that the fake figurines have obviously been replaced, but I thought that we might as well see if they're any good, and if a cheaper fake option is actually any good, because obviously I figured that if these break, I might be able to repair them anyway, and I just wanted something which might help me a little bit better with my drawing, because as you guys know, I'm trying to get hype with that drawing tank. Yeah. Anyway, let's switch the angles and have a better look at this. Okay, this is the terrible angle I have decided upon using for unboxing the body cone and stuff, but let's see. Let's go with, let's do body chan. Body chan first? We can do body chan first. Yeah, we'll do her first, but like I was saying, as you guys can see, um, I'm going to move this into a bit better lighting. But as you guys can see, sorry if it's not in focus, but you can see it's been, oh, that's not, yeah, well, there we go. You can see it's already been cut open on the side here, that's why I was saying, that's how I know that these may be the official boxes, but they are definitely not the official official merchandise. Anyway, let's uh, get it open. Oh, I'm not going to be keeping these boxes anyway. Now, interestingly enough, um, I don't know what this random card is. Now, interestingly enough, it seems as though all the official instructions and stuff are here for it, which is really quite good actually and if I reference cross-reference everything that's in here it does look like we do have everything which is also really good that's actually pretty good and then we've got like the little booklet here sorry if I keep going off to the side I can't really see what I'm doing I've got the little booklet here which is interesting this is really quite interesting because it seems that the things it seems that we've got everything which is actually quite good let me show you guys. It looks like we actually have everything that you are supposed to get. It is just questionable at the fact that it was already opened. You know what I mean? But even if it's a knockoff, if it's a good quality knockoff, then that's good enough for me. So let's just have a look. I'm trying to be careful. Y'all know I'm not the most careful. Now we've got the bits and bobs for the stand. And let's see. Okay, it does look as though... Wait, how do these come out? Um, give me a second, I'm trying to figure out how the hands come out. But I was trying to say... Oh, I was about to say, it does almost look as though you're missing some of the hands, but if I refer again to the little booklet... No, we've got everything. I think. It looks like we're missing some things, though. I do think we may be missing a couple of things. Possibly. Possibly. But I don't know, it looks pretty accurate to me so far. Um, if I'm able to, if I can, I'll link uh, down below to the little things. But yeah, these are actually pretty good. Another thing though is that it was a lot smaller than I expected, but this, I think it is official to the actual size. And that's really quite cute, so. And then we also have the little container box, which is also the stage. And then, I don't know what the point of this thing is at all. What is the point of this? I'm really confused by this thing. I'm not going to throw away anything just in case it is something relevant. On the off chance it is relevant. But yeah. as you can see, we've got the little container box like so. Don't know why it's like that. That's completely useless. And it just serves to contain and be a little stage, which is really cute. Okay, so that's boding well. And then it also does look like we've got all the little props, which is really good. I think if I had the original and the fake, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference, but okay, so here we have the actual figurine itself. I'm just going to kind of move it gently because I'm really worried about how so flexible it is. So let's see, oh, the head does move well, it moves up and down well enough. It feels sturdy, although this is just the head for now. Okay, the, you can tell the arm joints and stuff do look a bit flimsy, 
there is good movement there is good movement in the shoulders actually but obviously I'm hesitant to sort of abuse it too much because I don't want to break it obviously so there is some movement in the shoulders it's not too much movement and then it feels like the left shoulder is a a bit less flexible but it does flex okay okay then we've got the arms and stuff we've got the okay this is actually pretty good this is not bad at all I don't know how flexible the knee joint's meant to be, but the ball jointing in the legs is quite flexible. This is actually quite impressive, considering that it is allegedly meant to be a knockoff kind of item. Okay, count me impressed. Although, we'll see if I'm still saying that after it breaks on me. But so far, everything seems to be moving pretty good. Can she sit? Let's get her to sit down on my hand, shall we? There we go. Get those little leggies together. Now obviously I'm trying not to be too rough, but okay, that is actually really freaking good. Um, if you guys are okay with getting something which isn't official, official, but is cheaper than the actual thing, I think I would recommend this. I will definitely link it down below because so far I'm, pre I'm impressed with this. Although, I do wonder about the replacement of the hands. I don't know how easy it is to, okay, it's fairly easy. You just kind of pull off the hand to pop it on. If I know it's kind of not in focus, if you guys can see, it's not a focus, but you guys get the idea. It's quite easy to just pull off and pop it on. But obviously, you'd want to be quite careful doing that, and I can't get it back on now. Fuck, <laughs> fridge, fridge. This is my own fault for having really big nails, though. Um, okay, note to self: having nails makes it harder to deal with these. Um, is that on? I think that's on. I think that's on. Ish. That's on ish. That's really not on ish. I obviously don't want to break the joints, but it seems quite good. Although you can tell, like there are some sort of casting seam lines which are a bit messy, which you wouldn't expect to see in the actual official one. Ugh, I know it's not focusing. I'm really sorry, you guys. Where's my focus button here? So as you can see, there are like, there are some seam lines from the casting, which are a bit lumpy bumpy and you wouldn't expect to see it on the fish one but I mean as far as things go this is pretty damn good this is actually pretty damn good um I want to see if I can set her up on the stage easily so if you just bear with me <laughs> I got her on the stand this is actually quite good they are a little bit fiddly and obviously require a little bit of care to deal with again I'm really sorry about the angle but this is actually pretty darn good although this is obviously just the one model here let's see if our actual body cun is good because this was body chan so i want to know if body cun is any good at all i just don't know what the purpose of this is but i'm not going to get rid of it because again i'm pretty sure it might be useful just in case just in case okay so it was the same case with the body cun one the side had already been cut open um where is it yeah the side had already been cut open so i'm just like I see what Charles is doing because it's been cut open and then taped together. Actually, this one wasn't cut open with the original seals, but I'm pretty sure they must have peeled off and peeled it back on again. But so far, I'm saying that this is actually pretty good. This might be actually might actually be authentic, just really cheaply acquired by some means. But <laughs> so far, I'm actually very impressed with all of this. So it's the same affair really with the body cun, except the body cun is a lot bigger. And we've got the same sort of bits of paper and bits and bobs. We've got the same little booklet and all that. Although we've got the booklet for the dude. I think I'll keep these little booklets because they're kind of cute. So we've got our little booklets here because I think they are the official booklets by the looks of it, which I think is quite adorable. And the rest of the stuff is rubbish stuff now. Now already there's a big difference if you have a look. Let me just get Body Chan out this hold here. <laughs> but as you can see, Body Chan is a bit smaller than body can if you can see that yes you can see you can you see obviously because you know so it means the parts and stuff are different for each of them which is interesting although we've got the same props as body chan which i think is quite cool let me just let me just get her out of here be free be free Okay, so yeah, it's the same props as the ones that Body Chan has. They're identical. This is actually really good. I'm actually really impressed. I was positive that this was going to be 
absolute trash. <laughs> to be frank, I was really so, so sure that it was going to be a load of trash. But, you know, count me, count me, um, blown away. Now, body pun does have his own little sort of things too, although, like I said, it looks pretty much identical. They have the same hands and stuff, just obviously body pun is a bigger boy, because he's a boy. So, <laughs> right, let me just get this off again. Now, like I said, you've got the same hands, although body chat body chan body chan's hands are smaller as you can see there is a comparison so that's really quite interesting this is really cute and uh, whoo it's another sort of robust feeling figurine again if this was a fake or real i wouldn't be able to tell but his he's got substantial weight he's a muscular boy i'm very actually i am actually very very impressed with this like really freaking impressed of the quality of these the hand movement is good i didn't check it on body cham but i imagine they're pretty good you just have to be a bit careful obviously but you're not these are modeling pose figurines so you're not going to be using them quite robustly there's good there's not much range in motion and turning for body cun's legs unlike whoopsies unlike in body chan's um with body chan her legs can turn a bit can, can turn but we don't seem to have that sort of flexibility. I guess that's kind of accurate though. Girls are more flexible, this is true. Um, but this will make it kind of inconvenient for posing. I'm just sort of wondering, okay, so his legs do move like this, but they don't twist in the way that body chans does. You see what I mean? Her legs can twist all the way. Oh, this joint is a bit stiff. Obviously, I don't want to force anything. I don't want to break my, my babies. But this is actually really good. Let's see if we can get him into a sitting pose. Let's just get his leggies. Ooh. It is a bit stiffer, but obviously I want to be quite careful. I don't want to break them in any way. I'm going to change the hands from fists, in a, but obviously. It's a good range of motion actually in his shoulders, if you can see. Again, sorry I'm not in frame. I'm seeing a bit funny, but as you can see, this is pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Count me impressed. Um, I think for the ease of taking more reviews on this, I will also post some videos, not videos, I will also post images of this onto Instagram for ease of stuff, but do you guys, what do you guys think? If anyone has the actual authentic and they know it's authentic and they paid full price for it, what do you guys think? Does this look just like the actual thing? Is it the actual thing? I cannot tell. I honestly cannot tell and I am so impressed. So, um, so yeah, like gosh. Um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments because like I said, I'm actually very impressed with the quality of these and I, I look forward to using them. They're really quite cute and small as well. I love miniature things too, so yeah, wow, okay. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'm trying to see if any of them have a thumbs up. They don't have a thumbs up, otherwise I would have used it. They kind of do, but not really. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Was this useful? I will link these down below because if you want to get a cheaper alternative, but you're not desperate enough to pay the full, full, full price, it's really quite worthwhile. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll do more updates on these on Instagram as I use them. And um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, don't forget to give this a thumbs up like I said already. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button and join the family of kittens because, yeah, because, whoa, I'm trying to, uh, there we go, I was trying not to burp. Let me try it again. <laughs> Let me try that again. Um, if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button and join the family of kittens, morale, because yes, we're adorable. All my social media links are down below to check that out if you'd like. Instagram is most active, and like I said, I'll be doing more updates on these guys on Instagram as time goes by. And as always, hope you guys enjoy! Click the circular channel icon to subscribe. To watch more videos, click any of the videos down below. See you in my next one!